Like if it's not already bad enough that you never touched a girl in your life, now you want IP grab someone and become a real virgin. But jokes aside, it's actually scary easy how someone can IP grab you with something very simple like a Discord image. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how it works. So when you're browsing on Discord, you can be more cautious and prevent it from happening. We're going to be using Ankit's image logger and it was not originally made by him. So we can see that by going to main.py, we see right here by a decrypt. But sadly, his GitHub repository got taken down and also Ebola man made this exact video, but it's very old and it's outdated and we can see it right here three years ago. And if you follow these exact instructions, it will not work since it's so outdated. But I made a few small changes, a few tweaks and made it work. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how it's done. I'm going to link everything down below. So starting off, we're going to scroll down. We don't need to read it. We already know what it is. We begin immediately with the setup. First, create a GitHub repository. I recommend it be private so others cannot see your webhook URL. Then make a folder named API and place requirements.txt and main.py in. Rename it whatever example cat picture.py would make your URL look your site API cat picture. So you make you make it your site look legit. But I'm gonna show you a better way how hackers make it seem even more legit. Back to the top, we're gonna go to the plus sign and we're gonna create a new repository. And then we're gonna name it anything i'm gonna name it image logger right here description i'm not gonna give a description choose the visibility public so private so others cannot see my web hook url and then create your repository once here we're gonna click on create a new file and i'm gonna go back to the image logger in the main api we're gonna copy the code and then paste in our file and then name your file we're gonna put it in the directory api slash main dot by and then once scrolling down we can see here webhook we need to add our, our own webhook so first go to Discord, create a new server, then create a channel where you want the IPs to be sent to, all the hooks, then add a channel, integrations, create a webhook. Captain hook, and we can copy the webhook URL, and then right here we can paste it in. Next we need to add our image right here, and that can be any image on the internet. I'm going to search up for example meme PNG images, and the first one Michael's off, so let's choose that. Let's open image in a new tab and then we copy the link right here. We copy this, we go back and then we paste it in right here. Scrolling more down here, we have more options. For example, crash browser. Right now it's set to false. So when the user opens the link, it tries to freeze or crash the browser. Also accurate location. The site asks for their location. If they allow it, we get actual GPS. We get their actual address. But right now we're just gonna keep it like this. We're just gonna get it to work first. So let's commit changes, commit changes, copilot is thinking, we're just going to be changing, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we made the main.py inside the API folder. Now we need to put the requirements.txt. So right here, we copy the name requirements.txt. And in the repository, in the image logger, it said to put it inside the API folder, but it wasn't working for me. As soon as I put it outside the folder, it was working. So here, we press add a new file, create a new file. And in the file name, we press backspace to get out, out of the API folder. And then we go here and copy the requirements.txt name. And then we copy the text here, the requirements we need to install. We paste them in right here and then commit changes. And here we have the requirements.txt, the API folder, and the main.py. If you follow the anti kits instructions, this should work, but it was not working for me. And it will also not work for you if you follow those instructions because you're going to have a lot of versal problems. So what I did, I made a JSON file to tell Versal what to do. So we add a new file, create a new file, and we name it versal.json, and then we paste in the code right here. If you want to use this, I'll have it linked down below. And first here, build, I tell Versal to run main.py and not just download it. Then rewrites here uh, when someone calls up image.png so it looks legit. It doesn't try to load up an image that doesn't exist. It runs main.py. Then here, I specify the greedy rule, anything and after, so Anything that's typed after the link that Versal gives us, it will just load main.py. Doesn't matter what they type. If they type bread, doesn't matter, it will load main.py. And then all we have to do is press commit changes. And then we're done here on GitHub. So we go to versal.com and then log in with your GitHub. I already did, so I don't have to do that. Then I go up here and press add new, add a new project. And then right here, you should see your GitHub repository, your logger repository, and just click import. And then right here, project name. This is the only one that matters. If you want to look, make it look legit, you can name it whatever. I'm going to keep it image logger. And then all we have to do is press deploy. After it's done deploying, you should see this right here. Congratulations, you just deployed a new project. And you should see your image right here in the middle. 
because Versal tries to load up a index file and we specify the greedy rule. So anything that's typed after our link, it loads up the main.py. So we head up to continue the dashboard and that's it. That's all we have to do in Versal. We can try it right here. We can right click, open your tab and it will load our image right here. So here in our link, after the link, we type slash image.png and then we copy this and we head to Discord. And then in, the, in any chat in general here, I'm gonna paste in and send it. And immediately here we can see an image that's not loading. It's loading, but it's never gonna load. And if you put some nice context to it, they're probably gonna see, oh, I wanna see this picture. We're gonna go to opening browser, visit the site. It loads, Mac is doxy, nothing scary. But when we go back to the hooks channel, Right here, we see we got it. United States, California, Los Angeles. This is not actually me. I'm using a VPN, so I don't leak my own IP. But to be honest, for anyone to have your public IP, it's not too bad. All they know is your estimate location, your internet provider, which is not the end of the world. But what's scary is when we go back to the GitHub page and when we edit the main.py here. And as I said here in the options, we have a crash browser or accurate location. Let's see. Let's change it to true, from false to true. And then we commit changes, we send it. Now we go back to Discord, right here in the image, we open again in browser, and now it asks for our location. For any reason, if they click allow this time, it's done. We go back to the hooks page, and right here we can see the chords, and it got the chords, and I'll blur them out because it's my actual address. I don't want to dox myself for no reason in this video. And we can crack precise, and it even gives you the link to Google so you don't even have to type it. So by watching this video, I hope you understood something and you can be a bit more careful online because as you can see, it's very dangerous in the hands of a bad actor because they can use a custom domain. They can build a nice looking website where they need your location. And before you even realize your house is sent on general and it's not very nice.